Hey, what's up guys? It's Todd, and today I just do a real quick video on how to configure a newly installed hard drive for Windows. So this question has come up a couple times in the gaming communities and things I'm part of with some of the folks who aren't too tech savvy and are interested in adding an additional hard drive to their system. So after you physically install the hard drive, give it power, give it a SATA cable to your motherboard, Turn on your PC and it's not there, what do you do? Well, this is real quick and simple to configure the hard drive. So I'm doing this on Windows Server 2012. This is a virtual machine. So I went ahead and added a 40 gig uh, hard drive virtually to the system. And it, this is gonna perform the exact same way as if you did this with a physical one terabyte drive, a six terabyte drive, any drive, it's gonna behave the same way. So in Server 2012 or Windows 10, there's a couple ways to get into disk management. Uh, if you're right here in this PC, you can right click on this PC, choose manage. Um, in Windows 7, you right click on computer, choose manage. Or in the lower left down here, you can right click on your start button and choose uh, computer management or disk management. Uh, we'll just do it from computer management since they're essentially gonna take us to the same spot. Once you're in computer management, you're just going to click on disk management and the system's going to load up all of your drives. So we're going to scroll through here and as you can see, it has an unknown disk. I only gave it a 40 gig virtual drive, but again, this is going to be the same concept or the same thing for any size drive you put in here. So right now the disk is unknown, it's offline, so we have to get Windows to see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click right here and we're going to make the drive online. And then we're going to right click one more time and initialize the disk. So as you can see right here, we're going to select the disk and BR is fine and then we're going to hit OK. So at this point we now have the hard drive but it's still not showing up yet because it's unallocated. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this drive and we're going to choose new simple volume. It's going to take us to a little wizard, hit next. Uh, you can partition out the hard drive right here, but in most cases you're just going to use the total amount of the hard drive. So we're going to use all 40 gigs, hit next. Um, assign it the following letter, you can change the drive letter, or you can mount it as a folder. We're just going to give it drive letter H, hit next. And then right here we're going to format it as NTFS. There's really no reason to choose anything but NTFS nowadays. Hit quick format and next and finish. It's going to do its thing, formatting. Come on. This should not take long at all. Do, do, do. Hurry up. <laughs> it is still formatting. So this, sh in most cases, doesn't take too long. It doesn't usually take more than a minute. There we go. It's done. So we've got healthy primary partition. We come back into this PC, and there it is. There's our new hard drive, ready to be used, uh, ready to create new things, copy your games to it, copy backups to it, whatever you want to do. And that's it. That's all you have to do to configure a new hard drive in Windows. Other than that, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully this will help some of you out. If you have any uh, other just uh, tech questions or Windows stuff, anything, let me know in the comments below, and I will try to help you out and answer some uh, pretty basic questions or more advanced stuff. Who knows? Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.